Hi, welcome. This is uh, Clemens in Lockdown at the Lector. In this video, I would like to present the uh, Tacticon 1, this small module which is a wearable gesture and motion controller. As you may know, Elector organizes competitions for startups uh, where they have to present themselves and have to try to convince a jury that they are viable. At the uh, Fast Forward Award uh, startup competition that we did at Productronica 2019 in Munich, Germany, uh, one of the participants was uh, Next Industries from Italy. And they presented a sort of a 3D mouse, uh, the Tacticon skin, and also the Tacticon 1, uh, this module, which is a device that lets you control a machine uh, through gestures. Now, they didn't uh, win the competition, but we thought that this uh, module might be interesting for our audience, uh, you, uh, and so we put it in our shop. So today, with the coronavirus going on and the whole world being locked down, I thought it would be a good opportunity to try out the Tacticon 1 and see if I could control something with it uh, without touching it. Non-contact controls will probably have a bright future as they can prevent uh, contamination uh, through physical contact. The Tacticon 1 is a small module, it's about uh, 47 by 16 millimeters, and it's built around an STM32L151 32-bit ARM Cortex-M3 microcontroller. It has uh, Bluetooth on board, or based on a uh, Blue Energy chip, and it has sensors in the shape of a 3D accelerometer, a 3D uh, magnetometer, and a 3D gyroscope. It also has a pressure sensor with a temperature sensor, uh, it has an uh, RGB LED, it has USB, it has a charger for lithium-ion uh, batteries, and it has four user uh, GPIO pins and a UART. Three different 3D motion sensors means 9 degrees of freedom, or DOF, uh, with a 9D uh, inertial measurement unit uh, together with a barometer, you can do some uh, very precise uh, 3D positioning, which is for instance uh, great for drones. However, this is uh, way beyond my capabilities and in this video I will limit myself to the accelerometer and uh, Bluetooth. Uh, I will leave the fancy stuff to you. So the objective is to control something uh, through gestures, and the device to control is this uh, thing that I cobbled up, uh, which consists of two mains controlled lamps uh, that can be switched on and off by these uh, solid state relays. The Tacticon 1 communicates over Bluetooth, and so I set up my Raspberry Pi 4, because it has a Bluetooth uh, built in. Another reason to use the Raspberry Pi is that uh, the makers of the Tacticon 1 have uh, provided some example programs that run on a Raspberry Pi. The software for the Tacticon 1 can be written in the Arduino IDE. A special boards package is available and clear installation instructions make installing the Tacticon 1 in the Arduino IDE really easy. This works very well. I only noticed one slight inconvenience, which is that the programmer cannot close the serial port itself. And so if you happen to have the serial monitor open when you want to reprogram the device, you have to close it manually first. Preparing the Raspberry Pi for Bluetooth is uh, unfortunately a project in itself, even though there are detailed instructions uh, given on the Tacticon website. It starts by installing the uh, Bluesy uh, protocol stack, uh, but the first time I tried this I ran into a uh, library dependency war with Blue Alsa. I then did it again on a fresh uh, operating system and I did not encounter Blue Alsa, which is good. You must also install BluePy, so you can use BLE with Python. However, it seems that the current version of BluePy, version 1.3.0, does not work with our setup, and so you have to install a version 1.2.0. Unfortunately, you cannot simply pip install this version, but you have to download the source code, build it, and then install it manually. A good way to see if your development environment is working is to try out examples 3 and 4. Actually, this is just one example, but it's split in two parts. Part 3 is for the BLE peripheral that runs on the Tacticon 1, and part 4 is, uh, example 4 is uh, for the BLE client that runs on either Android, Raspberry Pi, or Windows 10, and only Windows 10. Uh, I run it on the Raspberry Pi because I had already done all the hard work on that one. The Android app is a processing sketch, and I tried it in the APDE app that I downloaded from Google Play Store. But that app crashed all the time. Um, deploying the sketch from processing on your computer to your phone may be a better way to do it, uh, but I didn't try that. 
Program the Tacticon 1 with example 3 and run example 4 on the client, a Raspberry Pi in my case. If all is well, you should see acceleration data scroll by. If you have more than one Tacticon board, you can try them all together. I base my remote control on the example I found on the Tacticon website. Uh, I modified the Arduino sketch a bit to better define the gestures. Uh, I implemented some sort of a turnkey uh, gesture to switch on the lamps. So when you turn the board to the right, the lamp on the right will switch on. And when you turn the board to the left, the lamp on the left will switch on. Uh, when you flip the board up, both lamps will switch on. And when you flip the board down, both lamps will switch off. Actually, these are not really gestures because when you keep the board in a steady position, uh, the command will be repeated every 500 milliseconds. When a gesture is detected, it is sent as a 2-byte value to the client, who will decode it and take the corresponding action, uh, which in this case is turning on or off uh, one or two lamps. The BLE client must be paired to the Tacticon device, uh, so that only one Tacticon can control the lamps. You do this by specifying the MAC address of the Tacticon in the uh, BLE client program. To get the MAC address of the Tacticon, you can run example 4 on the BLE client because it will display the MAC address every time a new connection is established. My gesture controlled lamps work fine, but note that this is a rather simple example of what you can do with a Tacticon 1. Uh, the Arduino libraries offer much more and it's really worth it to explore them in detail. But, spoiler alert! Chances are that uh, if you go deeper into this, you will have to learn uh, what quaternions are and how to use them. Okay, that's it. In this video I showed you some basic capabilities of the Tacticon 1 uh, wearable gesture and motion controller. The device uh, features a 9D uh, inertial measurement unit and can be programmed from Arduino. And it communicates over Bluetooth uh, low energy. The Tacticon 1 can do much more and much better things than what I used it for, but you will have to spend some time and effort on it to get the most out of it. This is not because the board is so difficult to use, but it's because of the 9 or even 10 dimensional data you get from it that is hard to use. So I hope you found it interesting. Thank you for watching and uh, please uh, stay inside. Mm -hmm.